right? Now is the time. Your art man. I'm Eleanor Mondale. We have Patrick Stewart. Not only a guy named Patrick Stewart, but the captain. Where do you see him? You see? Well, him? he's coming. He's getting out of his car. You can't miss the. Well, well look at. I John happen to have Picard. some trivia though. All right, go. Just while we're waiting, is that go. okay? Go. I'll keep an eye out. Of him. All right. Did you know that during its seven-year run, Star Trek: The Next Generation has been nominated for 55 Emmys and has won 18. That's still not bad. 18 Emmys. Not bad. That's great. That's 18 Emmys. Look, they got another one. What's this one? We got another one. We're waiting for him. All right. This past year, Star Trek Next Generation became the first syndicated series in Emmy history, in all of Emmy history, to be nominated for Best Drama Series. You see, it's syndicated. It wins an Emmy. Nominated. Did anyway. you know? We're, we're still... Oh, I see him. I see him. All right. You see him? I'm, we're see, cool on air. folks at home, right. we should explain this to them. Yeah. We have these little things in our ear right. that somehow tell us when these stars are on the way. These things in our ear tell us a lot of things. But they just Patrick told us Patrick Stewart, Stewart, Stewart got out of the car. He's coming out of the car. And did you know that uh, Patrick Stewart worked with Malcolm McDowell long ago? And That's here they are working together they are on reunited Star Trek in this Generations. Film. Yeah. That would so be interesting to ask him that. Well, why don't we do that? Ah, you can do it. You'll be closer. He'll be on your side. You, you saw the movie, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, What'd the movie think? was great. The Eleanor really Mondale exciting. movie review. What'd you think? It was very Trek-like. Very Trek-like. No, it's it very in-depth. You, know, you see the generations of the, you know, James T. Kirk and Captain Picard all together. Captain Picard. It's... Patrick Stewart. Good evening. Hello. Sir. Hi, Art man. Eleanor Mondale. This is Wendy. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? We are live on E, and we're asking everyone, especially the famed captain with this generations theme working with uh, James T. Kirk William Shatner how was that as, as an actor as an actor yeah. it was just grand uh, he's uh, he's a very loose and relaxed and uh, funny man and we had a great time except of course when towards the end of the movie we get into a certain amount of peril Bill and I mm -hmm. and uh, I save him he saves me and that occasion it was a uh, just a little exciting and then personally do you guys get along or was there some tension oh you're referring to uh, well, all those, the next question. those famous <laughs> those famous rumors yes how we were snarling at one yeah. another and uh, refusing to leave our trailers and so forth was any of that true I don't think so <laughs> no no uh, we got on just splendidly from the very beginning it was uh, every part of it in front of the camera and uh, behind the scenes was delightful were you a fan um, I'm sorry were you a fan of the original Star Trek series no I was not I I, I don't think I'd ever seen a whole episode all the way through. I just saw little bits of it from time to time. But um, no, I hadn't seen it before. And then you went from serious British stage to sort of a little more lighthearted space travel. How's that? No, well, you know what? I, I, I reject entirely uh, that assumption that you just made. Uh, uh, take it back. Serious British stage makes it, it sound like we were in a basement and nobody came. No, you, you award winning. Uh, that's serious. Well, yeah, we also had a lot of fun then, uh -huh. too. But uh, I, I don't think that what we did here on this lot for seven years was any less serious than what we did then. Uh, I'm very proud of all our 177 episodes uh, and the work was very serious though we managed to have a lot of laughs mm -hmm. along the way and you worked with malcolm mcdowell before right <laughs> yes yes tell uh, us a little bit about that well that was with the royal shakespeare company in uh, 19 <laughs> um, and uh, malcolm was a spear carrier he was a walk-on and uh, my major role was to understudy other actors mm -hmm. uh, we had a delightful time so and about two years later then something happened to malcolm what was it Oh, yes. It was a, an obscure little movie called... Yeah. What was that? Of something. to hmm. the... But if, yeah, right. if I think. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, how has being the captain of the Enterprise affected your daily walking around the street life? Oh, well, um, it's it's slower than it is on the Enterprise, of course. I don't yeah. get around as quickly right. as I do. I could have done with that today, coming from New York. Um, well, their show has a huge following, and it's yeah. you know it's delightful to go through the day and have people pat you on the back and say, "I like what you do. I like your show." Well, there's I like one... what you do, and I like your show. Oh, <laughs> Me too. Thank you very much. No, but there's one phrase that he says that will go down in history. Yes, What's please. That? Make it so, number one. That will go down in history. When we do the remake, you have the role, believe me. <laughs> Serious? At least the voiceover. <laughs> well, you know, I could stand to lose the hair. <laughs> nice Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. See you, sir. Very nice meeting him. I think wow. now would be a good time to take a break. I think so. Because uh, that was something else. I'm having that a hard time captain. breathing. Folks, stick around. We'll be right back. This is great.